Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, depending where you are. Here we are back to Biafran Television News. We are very, very sorry because we have never broadcast for two days now. Because we have, we are having a, a, a little technical fault in our studio. That is the reason why we have never broadcast for two days. So we ask our audience, please forgive us. It was not an intentional act, but because of the circumstances around us. So we apologize. We are very, very sorry. We have ratified the issue. And we, we promise you that we will keep on delivering. Yes, before we proceed... Everybody knows what is going on right now concerning the zoo. The zoo government, they are very, very stubborn and they want to know and see what we, we, we do. They, have, they are trying us and they have been doing everything to push us to the world. Upon all the automates given them by the United Nations, still they don't want to respect that automate. UN have already told them to release our leader. The, our leader, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazena, the Kano. Unconditional and the, with a heavy compensation. Because they don't want to, they don't want people to say, hey, this and that. That is why they are delaying and they are refusing to release our leader. Because I know the Fulanese are very, very stubborn. Very, very stubborn indeed. As we will see, we are giving them an automatic to release our leader. Because we will not keep silent or else, there will be no election in the Biafran land, despite our son coming to contest. Peter will be coming to contest. That way will never stop us from uh, boycotting the election, because we must boycott the election. I know the Britain and the, the Kabas, the ex generals in Nigeria, that is support, supporting Mr. Peter Aubi so that our, this agitation will be buried. Our leader will never be in the Nigerian custody and the, you are talking about conducting election. Impossible. We are saying impossible to that and it can never happen. You must obey the United Nations order. That is where we stand in this moment. No matter whatsoever, our leader must be released unconditional. Unconditional. Our leader must be released. And we are patient enough. We have been patient enough over this issue, over this matter. Let the government be warned. Let them be warned and do the necessary thing. If they don't want to face the wrath from us, let them be warned. At this moment, we want to condemn the art. What happened, I and mean, we know that art is being done by the Nigerian military, by the zoo, all those Fulanese that has been deployed in Imo State. It's a very, very bad attitude. The Fulanese has vowed that they will keep on terrorizing in our land. That is the reason why we, the radio 
the Biafran television has come on earth to condemn the art of the Fulani henchmen and the Fulani kidnappers that is in Imo State. Working under who pose at them at the governor of Imo State. What did the chief priest do? Did the chief priest that have came to invest in our land because he doesn't want to invest in a, in North or in Abuja or in Lagos? He realized that he's from Igbo. That is why all the investment he has, he invested in the Igbo land. Now. They attacked him on his convoy. They want to kill him. Upon all the goodness, this Kubana chief priest has been doing in Imo State. We have been seeing all the good work he has been doing. At least when Kubana chief priest is passing, any occasion he sees, any wedding he sees, Kubana chief will enter there uninvited and when he will go there, he will settle the celebrant. Whoever that is doing it, he may be see be, uh, chief Kubana. Kubana chief priest. Your wedding will be colored. He will design that place with the money God gave to him. He has been a help to so many couples. He has been a help to so many youths. He has been empowering the youth in the East, more especially in Imo State. Why must he be attacked? So I want the youth to look down and investigate the perpetual of that attack on Chief Kubana Priest. They should look. And we and bring we, we are going to bring those people to book. But we want to thank God that nothing happens to him. Only his convoy and his vehicle was damaged. Again, there was a very a heavy gunshot between a Bubago and Onunga men. Onunga men in Imo State visited a Bubago. Upon we have vowed, upon we have condemned the oppression of the Bago, a Bago still refused to vacate from Imo State. Today there was a gunshot between unknown government and the Bago, which they took the life of two commanders of a Bago. They sacrificed their life for who pose them. And that is that is the beginning of what is going to happen to all to a bubago wherever you are that one is a sample so you a bubago that is stay parading we have stayed we have said it and we have we are keep on saying it that we don't need you in our land anymore we don't need you your oppression in our land has been bound we made it open. And I don't know why you people are still terrorizing our land. How can you use another for a foreigner? Somebody from another place to come and be a vigilante group. Somebody you know that is, is the one that terrorizing. Is it no madness? When we said it, it's a madness to hope us at them, man. We want to congratulate those that have been protesting all over the southeast. We see how people still obey the sit at home order yesterday. We congratulate those that have obeyed this order. Despite whatever that is going on, we are still grateful to them. Keep on doing what you are doing. I don't know whoever that is instigating, instigating to kill 
our son, Mr. Pitobi, despite everything, he's our son. He's a son of our La Igbo. Every plot against him is against all the Igbos. Every plot against him is against all the Igbos. Those are planning to assassinate him. Be warned, if anything happened to him, we will come and destroy all the destroyers. Mind you, there will be no peace. Because we know that you people are planning to kill him. You people are planning to assassinate him. But let it be a warning to you all that are planning this evil. You can never go free. We must sink the whole zoo. Please, my people, I just want to thank you all that has been contributing in one way or the other to support our channel. Please go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. We are on YouTube, we are on Instagram, we are on Facebook. Be a front television news. You can get us. Make your comment and share our video. Invite your friends. Tell them that here is the only channel television that speaks the truth. Another thing is this. Because the zoo, they know that referendum is coming. And through that PVC we are collecting, that is where we are going to do the referendum. The information getting to us and what we are seeing, the Nigerian government, the zoo, led by the Buhari and his brothers, the Flanese, have decided to be bearing the PVC that bears the Igbo names. All the PVs that are bear Igbo names in Lagos that are burying it, those PVs will not come out. It's a very fatal information that we are receiving right now. Those PVs that belong to the Igbos that you, you are burying in Lagos, in Kano, some in Castina, the names of Igbos will be bearing, having the PVC appearing has been, bu been buried. That is the way Tunubu and Atiku is trying to rob us this time around. Because they know that we are ready to do that referendum through our voters' card, BVC. They has been, in one way or the other, bearing those PVC. So let INEC be aware and anybody that did not receive his pvc as long as you register pvc did not receive it let you inform us in this channel television so that we will mention the names and the population of those that registered for pvc that are Igbos particularly that did not get their pvc which they have been buried let us know Thank you and God bless you as you do so. The person that is on the channel this moment is nobody than Onyo Zimawa Biafra. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. God bless you. Share my video. Make sure everybody receives this video. And God bless you. Thanks.